He now recognizes the gentlelady from Colorado. Ms. Deguette, five minutes for questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And I wanna thank you for your comity and allowing me to wave onto this committee. It's a tough topic and it's important. The title of this hearing is Protecting Infants Ending Taxpayer Payer Funding for Abortion Providers Who Violate the Law. Ms. Waxman, under current law, uh, the federal government right now, if somebody who violates any law is um, uh, uh, found by due process to violate that law, federal funding can be cut off right now under current law. Correct? Yes. 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 No? If, if what we're talking. Thank you. If now, we're, oh. now um, yes. Uh, so, so the real issue is, um, uh, has Planned Parenthood violated the law? Correct? That would be the issue. Okay. Now, um, at the beginning of this hearing, we were shown some, some f small film uh, snippets. But I, I just want to ask, Dr. Yost, um, you yourself have, um, did not make those film uh, uh, snippets, correct? Yes or no? No, ma'am. And Mr. Maddox, you yourself did not make those films, correct? Yes or no? I did not create them. I've watched them. Uh, you watched them, and and Dr. Yost, you also uh, on the or you and your staff will also watch film clips on the internet. Yes or no? We've watched. You watched the films on the staff. In fact, you both the testified. Unedited ones. Well, you uh, you watched you, you watch what you are told are unedited films online. Yes, correct. Yes, but but you don't know for a fact. You didn't make those films, so you don't know from personal experience that they're un unedited. Correct. Yes or no? You, I mean, you didn't make the film, so you don't no, know if not. they're edited or not, no, right? So I, I can't, you're and, right. And same with you, Mr. Maddox. You didn't make the films, right? I, I did not make the films. So, Mr. Chairman, we've been told, um, the minority has been told uh, on oversight and investigations in this committee that we've been provided with all of the unedited films online, but we haven't had the person from the Center for Medical Progress who made those t those videos here. The, he's not here today. We haven't had him into committee. On the oversight subcommittee, we take testimony under oath. And so what I'd like to see, and I see my chairman is here, Mr. Murphy, what I'd like to see is I'd like to see him come in to the committee under oath and talk to us about how they made these videotapes. But let's accept the assertions from our witnesses that the unedited videotapes are online, which, which let's accept that. So today, Mr. Chairman, what we did, this, this uh, hearing started out with several film clips. The first film clip was of a uh, baby who apparently was not an aborted fetus. It was a baby named Walter Fretz who had been born prematurely at 19 weeks. And along with the, with the picture of that baby, there was a, a woman talking. She apparently was a woman who used to work for an organization that, that um, uh, was a procurement technician talking about late-term abortion procedures, which was totally unrelated to the baby, Walter Fretz, who was shown. And to make this even more horrifying to me as a mother, apparently Walter Fretz's mother did not agree that her baby, her precious baby, could be used in this way. So that was the first video clip that we were shown today to give us the impression that Planned Parenthood was somehow harvesting organs from this little baby. I can hardly get over that. The second and third and fourth clips were very small clips from what are many, many, many hours of videotapes that were apparently taken. So the Oversight and Investigation Democrats reviewed all of the videotapes that we were given, which the majority tells us are all of the videotapes. There was no illegal activity found. There was no illegal activity found in what we saw. When we pointed that out today, you know what the majority says to us? They say, well, that's because the ONI investigation is not completed. Well, I would ask you, Mr. Chairman, and I would ask you, Chairman Murphy, if there's more information that we haven't been given in order to have this legislative hearing today, I would suggest that the majority should produce it to us. Because otherwise, all we're going on is allegation and innuendo. And the lives of millions of American women are being put at stake at this. 4.2 visit, million visits to Planned Parenthood centers last year, not for abortions, for mammograms, 
for cervical cancer screening, for well women screening, screening 4.2 million visits last year are in jeopardy because of innuendos and allegations and videotapes that for the purposes of the hearing today were highly edited, misconstrued, and doctored. And that's why we're so mad. And I, again, I thank you for letting me talk. I thank you for doing this, but I think we should take this very, very seriously. Sure.